Maxi hits the deck. Hart takes it from him. Shot clock is off. DiVincenzo, no. Hardenstein with an offensive rebound. Another chance here. DiVincenzo, he's got it. The Knicks have the lead again. The New York Knicks, or should I say the Nova Knicks, have been making a statement all season long. After the Knicks acquired Dante DiVincenzo in the offseason and Josh Hart at the trade deadline last season, they created a big three from Brunson, DiVincenzo, and Hart's college days. The trio won a championship together in 2016, and Brunson and DiVincenzo won it all again in 2018. Now they're looking to bring a championship to their new team, the New York Knicks, who haven't seen a title in this city since 1973. All three of these guys have been big pieces to the Knicks playoff push and the two seed this season. They have also had very similar starts to their careers. All three of these guys came into the league around the same time, but it took a while for them to find their roles on a team. Josh Hart has bounced around a little bit. He started in LA with the Lakers, then was moved to the Pelicans, then the Trailblazers, and has now found a home in New York. Hart is one of, if not the best rebounding guard in the league. Dante DiVincenzo spent the first three and a half seasons of his career in and out of the starting lineup with the Bucks then spent 25 games with the Kings, spent last season with the Warriors, and was picked up in the offseason by the Knicks. DiVincenzo is a great perimeter defender and has found his scoring touch this season as he averaged 15.5 points per game and started 63 games for the Knicks this season. Jalen Brunson has made the biggest leap out of any of these three guys in terms of scoring output. He spent four seasons with Dallas and by year four he was a starter averaging 16.3 points per game despite being alongside Luka Doncic but the Mavericks ultimately let him go to sign a max deal with New York. That deal has paid off tremendously, as Brunson averaged 28.7 points per game this season and was the driving force behind a two-seed run for the Knicks. He appeared in his first All-Star game and will most certainly make an All-NBA team this season. The real question is, can these Knicks make a run and bring home a title to the Big Apple? They're currently up 2-0 on the Philadelphia 76ers with a narrow victory the other night but now they will have to go on the road and try to steal these games in Philly. If they can win this series, they will match up with either Milwaukee or Indiana, but neither of those teams are as big of a threat as the Boston Celtics. The Knicks and Celtics have matched up five times this season, with the Celtics taking four out of five, but the Knicks took the most recent matchup in April. They are the biggest threat to the Celtics right now in the East, and a Knicks-Celtics Eastern Conference Finals would be an epic matchup. The West is a loaded conference and whoever the Knicks would end up facing in the finals would be a tough matchup, but it would be especially tough against the Nuggets. The Nuggets are defending champs and have shown no signs of slowing down and they look poised to make another finals push. Can the Nova Knicks bring a title to New York? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, like and subscribe for more content like this, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.